Hey guys, it's Melissa. I'm back again. And as you can tell, my hair is wet again because I just had another shower. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of laughing about it, but you know that us creative types, we get at some of our best ideas in the shower. So anyway, I was thinking about, yeah, you, know, you know how we often get told to write what you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I was kind of thinking about what that actually means. I do know that, because I do know that a lot of people do get confused by that phrase, write what you know. Um, but... I, I thought I'd clear up what it is and isn't and you know um, in in terms of in terms of being creative now now to throw it out right away what it isn't is having to have the lived in experience of a specific character say for example if I'm going to write a, a character who is a black man living in the United States, obviously I have not had that experience personally, so I cannot, you know, fully step into that individual's shoes, you know, but what I can do is I can, is I can ask, you know, black people that I know what their what their lived in experience is like as a black person in America. Like for example, my husband who is a black man living in America. You know, I would look to I would look to him as the primary example of what of what that character should be uh should be like, you know. I I would let it inform, you know, and inform the the discussion within the pages of the book. You know, I know I know race tends to be a hot topic in in this country, but you know that you know for a lot of uh, for a lot of creatives we have to deal with you know hot hot button topics like racism, sexism, you know, uh, and so on and so on and so forth. There's obviously a lot more you know there's obviously a lot more major things to deal with, but like I said, those were the first things that popped into my head for an example. So I don't have, so going back to what I was saying, I don't have to personally experience with that light of what the character's life is like, you know? Um, because think about it, if, if all you could write about was your personal lived experiences, then all you would really have is an autobiography. That's literally it. That would be your, the only story you're ever able to write, you know, and that would be, that would be rather unfortunate, you know, because, because art is about opening, opening doors of possibility for, uh, for, for the audience. It's about, you know, um, getting other people to step into the shoes of someone else. In order to do that as a writer, you have to be able to you know, see, f see the world from another person's perspective, because if you can't see from another person's perspective, you're not a very good writer. Um, now writing what you know, what that, what that actually means is writing what you are familiar with, which is a whole nother ball of wax. For example, if I want to write a hard science fiction story, not that I would, but, you know, because that's not really my thing. But if I wanted to write a hard science fiction story, you know, obviously I'm not a rocket scientist, so I wouldn't know, you know, how to write about, you know, fast, how to make faster than light propulsion believable within a hard, hard science fiction. Now, technically anybody who's read hard science fiction will say, that they don't have faster than like travel. They have generation ships and that kind of thing that they work around. But anyway, um, for example, for example, you know, the, 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 like I said, the drives of the ships, for example, in hard science fiction, if I wanted to write hard science fiction, I would go to, 
I would go to, you know, NASA's webpage, you know, start do, start doing what it are, uh, start reading up on whatever they've posted. I would start, I would, I would read up on, you know, um, on all the different astronauts and their life experiences. You know, I, I would basically do a ton of, as much research as I can without being an actual rocket scientist. And, you know, in the case of hard science fiction, I would go like even a step further and try to contact people who are rocket scientists, <laughs> you know, people, uh, if I have specific questions, you know, like, oh, I'm writing a book and I need to know X thing about X. I mean, there's a chance I might not be responded to, but you know, there's also a chance that they'd be happy to answer my question because they're giant nerds who love to nerd out about thing uh, about the things that they love doing. You know, like, like literally anybody else in the world. <laughs> but so yeah, write what you know means having a passing familiarity and being willing to do the necessary book work and necessary social interaction to fill in the gaps in your knowledge. Research is so important to be an effective writer. Uh, for example, um, the thing that I'm most familiar with as a writer is mythology. I love classical mythology, aka Greek and Roman mythology. I love Egyptian mythology, which is why one of my characters in Griffin and Bout is named Sekhmet. You know, she's the Sekhmet, by the way. Um, but I also love, you know, the vampire, the vampire myth. And there's actually a lot of myths about that. And I'm probably will do a video about that in the future because it's it, it'll definitely give me a chance to nerd out <laughs> you know about you know the complications behind the vampire myth um it's it is a lot more complicated than you think trust me but um but yeah those are the things I'm familiar with so a lot of what I write has to do with those things you know or have a basis in those things you know, so the stuff that I'm not fam as familiar with, I do a ton of research so I can make myself familiar, you know, so I, uh, so that I can familiarize myself with them. And that's writing what you, that is writing what you know. Um, so, so for, for anybody who's worried about, worried about writing what you know, don't be so scared, you know. If you have a gap in your knowledge, just do the research, you know, and and fill that gap in your knowledge to the best of your ability. You know, talk to people who have that knowledge, you know, so write what you know, but also don't be afraid to explore what you don't know. You know, I wanted to give some of you writers out there reassurance that no, that no, you don't have to you don't have to just stick with what's familiar go out uh, go out there and do the research on something you're not as familiar with and just be awesome with it put the pedal to the metal you know because that's the only way you're going to you're going to learn about uh about about the world and and again as an as an artist as a as a creative person it's it's our job to help help people see through the eyes of someone else, someone else whose experience they don't share. So in order so in order to give them that experience, we have to be able to learn how to step in those shoes. And if it's something that we're not we don't know personally, then it's something we can learn about. You know? So so yeah, if you're taking on, you know, writing as a career or as a hobby, then the truth of it is to be a good writer, you never stop learning. Okay, so so keep going out there, keep learning, keep researching, keep exploring new horizons with your work and in your life, and you'll find and you'll find that as an as a creative person, you'll be so much happier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's not a I know it's not a, my usual longer videos, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I, <laughs> I, 
I am going to be here every Thursday, okay? So for those of, for those of you who, you know, aren't sure when I upload every Thursday. So so if you haven't hit that notification bell, please do because it'll 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 help you help keep you notified on when my next upload is, you know? So <laughs> cuz 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 I have noticed that, you know, YouTube has been doing a sl strange things with my my channel. I'm not too keen on that, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye!